Greetings to Africans on the continent and to Africans around the world. This is King Adrian. I came across a very unique and interesting article that um, I wanted to share my views about this article. And the title of the article reads, Mal Drama Decors Session in the Gambia Over Two-Term Limit for Heads of State. So, the ECOWAS was in session and they are discussing of how they could um, implement a two-term two limit for the head of states in, in West African countries, which is actually a great move for ECOWAS to do. I will say why this is a great move for ECOWAS to do. But before I do that, let me go further. The speaker raised in concerns over calls on ECOWAS Commission to buy, to buy pronouncement to impose a two-term limit on member countries for heads of state. According to the speaker, every country has a sovereign right to choose how its government is run and, and there should be no interference from the ECOWAS Commission. But the ECOWAS Commission is having the discussion of um, a two-term limit in the head of states, which is actually a great idea that must be encouraged by Africans, by Africans from the ECOWAS uh, community, by Africans in any of the um, regions in Africa. Because as you know, Africans, the reason why we suffer today is because of because of our leaders leaders who go in in presidency and don't want to step out they want to be the only one to head the, the, the state or to head the country without any interference they want to be a dictator a king a tyrant but for democracy to actually work well Two-term limits should be encouraged. Two-term limits should be implemented across the entire African nations. Across the entire African nations. No person in Africa should have the right to be in presidency or be the head of a state for over 10, 20, 30 years. But one of the speakers is actually saying that it is the right for a sovereign, a sovereign nation in Africa or in ECOWAS, West Africa, to, you know, to have their own bylaws within their state. But by doing so, it actually discourages improvement. It actually discourages growth in 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 those countries where you have a president who is in power for over 10, 15, 20 years. And if you if you look, take a note, or if you look keenly, you find that most of the countries in the ECOWAS who have uh, a president over 10 years or more are mostly French African, French African nations. Nations like, like um, Gabon or Senegal or... Um, Togo. As a matter of fact, the president of Togo has been in power since the 4th May of 2005. And this is 2020. So for 15 years, he's been in power, doing nothing. The people are actually fighting against the government, protesting against the government. And the government of Togo, the military of Togo, is actually taking side with the president of Togo, whereby they, they, they punish the citizens. So he sitting in power for over 10 years or more and not doing anything substantial to benefit the people of that given state. It is wrong. Because so this is actually a great thing that ECOWAS must do, must encourage, must discuss because as a matter of fact, France hijacked ECOWAS to make sure that 
French African nations, nations in the ECOWAS would not be completely um, would not be completely integrated with the rest of ECOWAS, whereby limiting the influence that France has. So France says no. Macron says he must do something because if he doesn't do something, then he will lose a huge sum of of economic power that France need from the French um, French African West African nations. So by hijacking the ECOWAS and giving Franks, um, French African nations some benefits, some leverage, that will, they will accept. Whereby putting another type of bylaws that will make English um, speaking West African nations to, to, to accept and by, thereby accepting will actually enslave them in a way will actually continue the neocolonization of English nations in West Africa. It's a good thing the nations in West Africa rejected what Franks suggested. So by limiting by limiting the two terms, most of the French African nations who have been who have have presidents or leaders for over 10 years and more would not have that power that privilege that dignity that is being supported or that is being sponsored by France because if you look at most of the French African nations in West Africa or Central Africa France support them support the president to be there because the president support France so if you limit the two terms, if you limit the terms for presidency in West, in West African nations or in ECOWAS, you're doing another job that France would not want. France would not want that because they won't be able to manipulate the political system in French African nations, whereby every... Um, Every other two terms, you have to have a different president, and whoever is coming forward might not be, might not accept the system of France. So the citizens of French African nations must wake up and support this two-term system that should be implemented all across ECOWAS, and if that is done, it should also be implemented all across Africa. This is a great move. For democracy, not only in ECOWAS, but in Africa in general. This is a way to take back the power that the, the, the West have over Africa. Having limiting the two terms or limiting the, the, the terms of presidency or that will be in ECOWAS or in Africa in general will be a extra benefit. For ECOWAS and for Africa. The citizens of Africa, the citizens of ECOWAS must wake up and promote this idea, must advocate for these ideas because we've, we have two terms in ECOWAS, in the states of, in all the states of ECOWAS. You already have that in, 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 in Nigeria and some of the, I think, if not all of the English speaking nations in in, in West Africa, if we could actually have that implemented in the whole of Af West Africa and Africa, then you will see better leadership. When a leader goes in there for his first time and is not doing the right thing, then you have a the people will have the chance to kick him out and put somebody that's going to do the job. Is we need leadership that can be competitive. Competition will, will, will encourage growth in the states, in the countries of ECOWAS and in the countries of Africa. But if we have leaders that will be in power for 
10, 15, 20 years, like in Cameroon, where beer has been there for more, for more close to close to 40 years, and you don't see any growth in Cameroon. You don't see no growth at all. The guy will spend lavish money on um on Christmas buying drinks, yet the people in Cameroon are suffering. It's time to change Africa, but the youths must step up. The youths must be involved in political um, discussions that concern Africa. If we're not involved, then we cannot change anything. If we don't see what the leaders are trying to do, are trying to implement and speak about them or speak against them, voicing our opinions, nothing will change. But we, the African youth, must make sure that we change Africa for the better and create a strong black pride, a strong black superiority that will control the faith and the people of Africa. This is King Angel. Till next time.